time my match against royalty and I am on the map CP goalie wash okay so here we go uh, our mids were always really kind of shaky let's see I'll do an over the head view for this first mid I can't remember exactly what we did but I'll be able to judge based off of where we go let's see what we got here what do we got here God, these rollouts take forever, don't they? Okay, so they went their left, we went our left, and we're just basically spamming mid. Um, see, we get an early pick onto their medic. They don't have heals, and so that's when we called to get aggressive, but that was a good bomb there. See, the problem with all of our mids on all of our maps is we have really poor fo focus fire there. Like, you saw one person shooting at someone and someone else shooting at someone else. I mean, we have poor health. Um, but we won the mid because we got that really early Jesus pipe by tree onto their med. Should be able to roll in to take two here pretty easily. Demo's just throwing some spam to maybe slow us down, but he should be out of there. Um, CP, yeah, right, goalie wash final one. So, um, I, I don't know exactly what the call is. I don't remember the end game, but, um, tree typically has more stickies to lock this down. Um, the way we normally do our goalie washes is we'll lock down the lower door and we'll come upper because it's harder to trap like this giant area and really easy to put sticks behind a door that slides open that can kill everyone the second it opens so we normally go upper so we did that here and what we're doing now is we're waiting we're buying time before we do I think I think this mid what we we're, or not this mid this last push we attempt uh, what we call a three man sack and you'll see it whenever they get uber charge and we get close to charge um, it's where we send in myself, Fival, both scouts and our roamer um, Five normally comes through this door, I come through here, and our roamer goes underneath. And we'll jump up to try to force the med. Because what we do, th what that does is if you get their med to force uber charge, then once your people respawn, you're looking at a full uber advantage pushing into last. So I believe we're getting our buffs, yep. See, we're buffing up um, all our people here. <laughs> but we didn't have anyone up top, that was kind of bad on us, so we had to scare him off. But uh, we get our buffs, and eventually we push. This is really bad on us, though, because... Um, it took us such a long time. Like, they were probably well expecting it at this point. Okay, see, there goes uh, Romer, and we both come in through the doors. And we got the force. So, there you go. They used Uber. This is exactly what we wanted. So, what you'll see here is the rest of us backing up here. We're holding up by this rock because what we intend to do now is wait for our respawns and push back into them. Um, they brought the heavy out, though, and they, they spammed us really hard, so it kind of ruined it because they took advantage of those numbers they had over us there and pressured. They knew that they had to get the force, otherwise things would were not going to work out. Um, so we have numbers, but the problem here is we, we're bleeding. We bleed because we come in at different times, like see, this goes down and tree goes down, whereas we have other people just now contesting point. So again, that was an issue of focus firing. Um, we didn't have T very good team chemistry there. Oh god, my game closed. Hold up. Demo reviews are terrible whenever the game crashes. But yeah, to kind of go over that um, last there, what was going on while my game relaunches is our pocket went in with our demo. So and um, so we had our combo in with our demo. So we had three people in, whereas our roamer was underneath in water. I was in water. Our scout, um, our other scout, Fievel, was on slide, and we weren't even initiating the fight. We weren't even anywhere near the fight that was going on on last. So even though we had numbers, like, in theory, it was like a, I think like a, um, a six on four, we lost that fight because they focused us, right? All four of their dudes shot at our pocket um, and our medic and our demo, so that was a 4v3. They killed all of them, and then... Um, me and Fievel and Burrito came up and it was another 4v3. In fact, they might have even had more spawn, so it would have been like a 5v3 or a 6v3 and they killed us all. Uh, one second. Let me find this. Pl Slide is what a lot of people also call River. I mean, we just have two names for it. Um, God, I can't even remember what this is. It's the last one I have. Okay, this is it. Hopefully the demo won't crash this time. Hopefully it won't crash. Um, Slide is that little like ramp thing that's to the left of the point on last... A lot of people call it river, uh, yeah. I don't know. People, different teams have different names for it. We just happen to call them both by both names. Probably not a good thing. Yeah, Riverside, whatever. 
Like, there's there's a whole bunch of different names for it. It really depends on what your team calls it. We call it slide because it's one syllable and it's easy. It rolls off the tongue. River slide, that works too. <laughs> there you go. Just throw them both together. That way you won't have any confusion. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of fast forwarding to get back to where I was. Hopefully the demo won't crash this time. Okay. Um, that is slowing it down. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, we're just going to spec this guy, I guess. Let's get to where they force our medic again, and I'll, I'll go over that last again. I'll go over that last again. Okay, so they're setting up on last. Do, do, do. Building the Uber. And waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to slow it back down to normal speed while spectating this guy still, apparently. Okay, so they know they have to pressure us here, because if they don't get us to force on second, then we're, we've got that uber advantage I was talking about pushing last. Um, see, th but this is where the, the miscommunication comes. See, our soldier's going in, our demo's going in, our medic's going in. See, like, we're getting picks, we're going in. Whereas, we've got our scout here on slide. She's under now, she's water. I'm, uh, burrito's under. Like, we're, we're fighting two different fights, whereas they're just picking us off one at a time. And that's why that push failed. That was really terrible. Um, on us. So we wipe. Luckily, Gamma gets out. So he keeps that 26%, 27% charge, which doesn't really mean much because they have like um, a 50% advantage anyways, but at least we don't have to wait for him to respawn and we can hold mid, kind of. So what we're looking at here is we know they've got charge. We're not even all be at mid, see, because we just got spawns, like we're just now getting to mid. And we have to hold really, really far back. Now we know they have Uber and we're trying to spam through the door to get the pop, we do. And at this point we should be backing out, like we shouldn't lose anyone. Uh, we lose one, but um, that was pretty okay. I mean, preferably we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have wanted to lose our roamer, but we, for the most part, all got out. And now, look, we've got a full charge advantage. So we should be waiting for our roamer, and we should be going back in. Now, we do this weird thing on our team. Um, I watch Choke with our demo. And we take the other scout, Fievel, and the combo, and the and um, everyone else to go through big door. Um, you know, it really depends on what your team chemistry is, but we like to do this because it's a more direct approach, especially if they're ho holding far back. Like, because if we're pushing through our choke and they're holding way back here, we have to go all the way. We have to go all the way across the point to to like spam them. Um, and they have all this room to try to force us, whereas if we go big door, we can just get right onto them. So that's what that's all about. Anyways, um, they use Uber. And if we get picks, this could be good. Sadly, we lose our demo. Yeah, now we're just kind of all disconnected there. In fact, I think I'm the only one alive, and I do something stupid. Yeah, like I try to back cap it or something. I don't know what I'm doing. I think my thought process here is I just wanted to slow them down. Uh, actually we had a discussion about that, but I'll talk about that later. Anyways, yeah, I, I just wanted to slow him down, maybe try to stop the middle cap, but on second out, that was a bad decision, because I knew that they could just stack middle point and beat my back cap, and, um, I was gonna die regardless, because I was behind them, so what I did, did there effectively was give them free room, because now we don't have uber advantage, and, um, even though they're down a player, they still, we still don't have numbers advantage, because... I'm dead. So that was really a useless death on my part. I should have just gotten out of there. Um, that's okay. That's why we do these demo reviews to identify problems. Okay, so they have Uber, we don't, and we have to be ready for it. That's why Gamma's, um, sh he should be buffing up everyone. Yeah, he's like, come get buffed, except for me, because I'm the pyro. Um, the call here was to try to shut them down, and as you can see, it worked pretty effectively. I mean, I eventually die. No, I don't even die. Most of the time I die when I'm pyro. But it stalled out their uber on slide river, whatever you want to call this area. And um, now they can't push. So that was actually a good hold on, on us. But we have really bad health. Luckily, Gamma gets uber. We have major numbers. We should be clearing all entrances. Yeah, see, we've got someone checking under. We should have people upper now. Oh, I didn't see that trap. I think that killed someone. Let me do that. Seal spec, carried items, thank you. Lame. 
Now, initially what we wanted to do there was we're holding last because it took us way too long. But in an ideal situation like that, if you kill enough of them to decide that you can push out, you need to have someone clear this area. Um, you need to have someone else completely different clear this area and have someone check under to make sure there's no one under. That way you're swiftly pushing on to second with like no delay, you know, no like, uh, is there anyone here? Is there anyone there? You're clearing all, all entrances and um, you're doing it swiftly before they get spawns and uh, yeah. But we took too long. We had a lot of indecisiveness um, and for that reason we weren't able to push out. So, um, here, oh man, look at that shot, right? Fantastic sniper. Anyways, <laughs> we get the pick, and we're, I think we start trying to peek here, because we have uber charge, we've got numbers on them. I don't think we're aware that they have uber. We should be, but I don't think we are, because I think we start peeking. Yeah, see, we're peeking out here. We should know that they have uber charge, and Gully Wash is, in my opinion, one of the hardest lasts to push out, push out from, because you can just spam walls, because there's chokeholds, like, everywhere, right? And so, um, it's, in my opinion, it's one of the hardest lashes to put out from, push out from, and we shouldn't have pushed out there. The spy is called, we're spamming him, he gets out. But now we're cautious, we know there's a spy. See, if you, even if you think there's a spy ever, when you're holding last, or just in general, if you think there's a spy on the uh, enemy team, you need to call it out. Like, there's a spy, just watch out for him. Because even if there's not, I mean, what could a little more, what could a little more awareness do? Like, how could that hurt? Um, I shouldn't be doing this right now. I mean, I know they have a spy. And I think that's what I'm just running around, like, trying to find him for. But really, I'm being useless. Yeah, there we go. See, I switched sniper because even though I'm maining scout in this game, I might as well snipe and do something while I'm doing nothing, right? Because if you're, if you're a scout and you're holding last, especially when ubers are even, a lot of the time... You're just going to be running around doing nothing because you can't really go in to, and attack them because they're in a giant ball. Um, that was a good force by Burrito Man. They used Uber. Once he gets up, we should be pushing. We should be looking to push because then we will have an Uber advantage. And we can Uber onto them, assuming we'll clear all doorways and retake second. Now granted, that's probably not how it's going to work, but in a perfect situation, that's how it should go. See, so we've got people clear inside here. Um... See, this is kind of bad by us. We sh we have a heavy on last. I don't know why our demo is still here. I think he's watching a trap, but I think the reason that this uber fails, or not this uber, that push fails, is because of the reluctance by our demo here to push out from last. I'm not saying tree's bad, but in that situation, I would have totally pushed out. Because, I mean, our combo was pushing out. We had a scout pushing out. There's no reason for him to be at last, especially when we had a heavy, right? Say so, so we'll see how this mid goes. They take left side. Yeah, see they're trying to flood our demo here, and I think they do get the pick, which is really unlucky for us. Yeah, we take two picks really early there. We didn't counter the mid very well at all. And what what this ends up to is us bleeding. See, you saw we were going in one at a time dying, and now this now I'm gonna come up and die. So, like it was terrible. The only saving grace there is that we got our medic out. But even still, once our demo went down and we realized they were all on the left, we went in one at a time and we all just continually died. We were fighting 1v6 battles that you don't need to do during mids. Well, actually, never, but especially during mids. So they've got charge and they uber into us. The pyro, again, kind of slows them down a little bit, but I don't think it's enough. Actually, it might be. That was just really lucky on my part, though. That soldier could have hit two rockets and I would have been dead. Sadly, we all die, because we're all off. See, the problem there is we're all fighting our own fights again. Like, that's really where my team struggles. We need to work on focus fires. That's so essential, especially at these higher levels of play. Like, you didn't see it all, but there was a fight going on over here. There was me reflecting people over here. There were people going through main. And we were all, as a team, shooting different directions. Whereas they were all focus firing, and they were picking us off one by one. Which is what you need to do, even at lower levels, especially at higher levels, to win fights, team fights. So let's see, they come left here again. Hello. We go right. Actually, we're doing a delay jump. We wanted to see which way they were going before we jumped. But again, we don't have focus fire. See, we've got fights going on over here. And we've got fights going on over there. And, like, now he's up here and I'm down here. Like, and b before you know it, we're only two up. And that's because we were all 
doing a very poor job of calling focus fires. Uh, so we wipe pretty much and they have charge and most likely they're just gonna leave a scout here and move to last. Maybe not. I guess they just want to take it slow. They figured why, why mess up whenever we can just push with a full advantage, right? So at this point we should all be buffing up. Yeah, Gamma should be buffing everyone because he knows we don't have a lot of time. And as you can see by the bottom left of the screen, pretty much everyone except our roamer has buffs. And that's because he's way over here. Good debt. We got a scout pick. That that's our uh, that that could potentially save the uh, the hold or the, the their whoa can't talk. <laughs> that could potentially be a good hold for us because of that pick. And it looks like it is because the Uber stalled out right. Oh god, the Uber stalled out, and um, we got a, a pick or two on them. So now it's just a matter of one v oneing, um, not one v oneing, focus firing. We try to have focus fire here, but uh. Kind of hard. We kind of got overwhelmed there. Like I think we lose this fight, but that's kind of um, <laughs> that's that's kind of our uh, our fault for not dealing with people. I mean, DM isn't the whole thing, but having good DM totally helps. And I'm not saying my team is bad, but I feel like in this situation, we were kind of outclassed and, and the, our only chance of victory would have been to have a really good focus fire so when it wasn't a hundred percent it caused our team to suffer as a result and that was um kind of an example of that okay so we're trying to do a bit of a forward hold i think here our demo is just watching a trap and it doesn't work so we should be holding last again but again because we were forced on that push out from last, at least I think we were, they have an uber advantage on us. We don't have charge, they come right in. But as you can see, they're all focus firing the heavy, they're all focus firing the soldier, they're all focus firing the demo. Like, uh, it's kind of painful to watch, to be honest, but, um, because the, the mistakes are so plain, like, they're right there. You know what they are. It's just a matter of fixing them. Um, anyways, that's half. Let me skip through here. Gotta go through this little section of the demo. Now I'm gonna watch my POV this mid to see from my POV or pr from my perspective what I saw now that I didn't see beforehand. Oh god, did we go live? No, we didn't. Did we? This isn't live. I don't think anyways. Okay, yeah, we're going second half. Okay, slowing it back down the middle here. Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna watch my POV this mid just to see how this went down. Okay, so I believe what we do is we try to do a delay. And our delay is um, we wait we wait on the ground for them to jump aside, and then we jump that side, we counter jump them. Kind of like being gay in MGE, right? See, we see they're going left, and so there we go. You'll see both soldiers jump. And um, I'm trying to play closer with our med, so I waited for him. Oh, snap. Oh, this is the mid where I got really lucky. Yeah. I hit all my shots, but... Oh, the, <laughs> uh, the medic had... Five health! God, I couldn't even finish off the medic. Oh, well. So, that was really lucky on my part. Sadly, I couldn't have gotten the med... But, um, what I would do, if you're a medic and watching this, you need to, you need to heal your scouts on mid. Like, you really need to heal your scouts on mid. Not, not all the time, I'm not saying heal only the scouts, but, like, you saw right there, I had a medic with me the whole time. It's amazing what a scout with an overheal can do. It's really ridiculous. You know, heal your soldiers, just they do their rollout, but then when they jump away, heal your demo, then find your scouts, because they'll do so much for you. It's ridiculous. I mean, it, of course it's situational, that's not like all the time, but the majority of the time, overheals on scouts are the, like, the greatest thing in existence. I'm not saying that just because I main scout either. <laughs> so, um, their med stayed up because I couldn't get that kill. Yeah, pretty much, Rohana. But, um, I couldn't get the med there, we didn't get the med on that mid, and, but they got ours because we all died, so... 
Um, that was actually a really good hold on our part. They Ubered in, and that was an example of poor focus fight right there. You had people there, but then you also had fights going on over here, and they drew the short end of the stick, so they all died because we had better heals. Because we knew they were going to push in, so our medic buffed up everyone to prepare, prepare for the fight. Can't even talk. And, um... It really makes a difference. Like, you don't think it does? You think, well, why would I want to give this scout 185? What's he going to do with 60 more health? It's ridiculous. It really is. Um, okay, getting ready for the heavy push. Looks like here. Yeah. I think this is really bad on our part. Like, we called a push out from last year. So, again, we've got three players here on our team. What is going on here? We've got a heavy here. We've got a soldier on our last. Like, we're completely split as a team right now. And as a result, we all die. Except for the Heavy, because Heavy was supposed to stay on last. And um, now, as you can see, they're going to have charge advantage. They have numbers. They can just roll right in, pretty much. So, yeah. Not really even much of a, not really much of a problem for them there. Um, mm-hmm... I don't think they're running full-time heavy. I think they just wanted him to push into last. It's a really effective last last tactic. By the way, do you guys think I should upload this to my YouTube? Like, I have a YouTube that I never use, but I feel like maybe demo reviews like this could be helpful to some people. I don't know. Okay, so we just wanted to jump this side, and they wanted to jump their side. So we're basically... It's a matter of, of team fighting right here. Like, this is a matter of focus fire. See, that scout jumped across, we, we needed to focus him. The soldier jumped across, we needed to focus him. But we didn't do any of that, and we all died. Okay, so... We all wiped there, pretty much. They've got the charge advantage. And, um... I think this will be pretty much... This will be pretty much the game. Like, they have a charge advantage. Unless we have another good hold... Um, this should be it. Okay, so they come in, and they focus him. See, like, we have a scout over here shooting at this scout, and we tried to pull our focus fo fo uh, fire together there, but at that point it was too late, because we'd already taken so many picks. Like, we're focusing the scout here, but it didn't even matter anymore, because we were down in numbers, and they could have just, like, surrounded us from all aspects. Um, anyways... It was a 5-0 roll, essentially, to, like, from their team onto our team, we lost 5-0. But, um, it shows you just how effective focus firing can be. Like, if you have no other plan but focus firing, do it. Because that's, like, something that's so important in team chemistry, and it's so essential to good team play. <laughs> that, t that true, or that too, Duatna. Unless you ha manage to have some type of ridiculous last hold. If you don't get their med on last, or on mid, and they get yours, and they wipe your whole team, that's GG. But, um, yeah, we kind of lost that game pretty badly, but yeah, focus firing does make a difference, I promise you. Promise you it does. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I mean, if you guys have any questions or something, I can ask those, or uh, not ask, answer those. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to go do a little bit of pubbing. Again, I might upload this demo review to... Gully wash. I don't do these very often, so I don't know how effective.